Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh, shit, yeah, I need to get that hooked up. While we're fucking around here, while we're waiting, see if anybody actually shows. That critical few minutes where uh, we get lag time. and Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, we're set for Wi-Fi on that? Okay, there it is. Okie dokie. Let's see if anybody actually shows up or not. Oh, where's my cat's head? There we go. Fuck. Okay. We got one like. Hey! Okay, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, bear with me a moment, guys. Just getting some shit together. Uh, hey, Octavio, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been uh, it's been a while. It's, uh, what the fuck? Why is that not working? Yeah, it's like yeah, Murphy's Law has really been fucking with me. Let's just put it that way. Uh, ah, there we go. That's it. Okay, dokie. We'll try and get this plugged in. Bear, hey, weird angle. It's cinematic super monster party. Gotta gotta show off, gotta show off, you know the, uh, the the faders. Ooh ah, it's a knee. Anyway, hey Gilbert Fader, yeah yeah yeah. I've been sick and try just playing fucking catch up and shit. <laughs> it was great seeing you in Miami. Yeah I know. Oh, yeah I know. Sorry. Well there's always next year. <laughs> Super Monster Party's pissed because I couldn't hang out in Miami with him and I really wanted to too. But I uh, I had to go to Bradley Hall's live. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, give me one minute, guys. I'm just trying to get something hooked up here. I'm gonna try and get this figured out. One damn minute. Okay. That should work. Hopefully. Not going to plug in. We got power. And where's my damn stream deck controls? Hmm. Okay, one damn minute here. Hold on. Ah, where's my stream deck controls? Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Fuck. Okay. There we go. And let's see here. Come on, you little piece of. What the fuck? Okay. Hey, there we go. Okay, great. Cool, cool, cool. No, I don't want to update. Okay, that should be good. VIP over Reaper, Soldier Shot, Skin Rider. Okay, ATEM. Let's just see what's going to go on here. Um, yeah, that should be okay. I don't know if I'm actually going to need this or not. Um, hmm. Bear with me a sec, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's all good, Tony. Yeah, I definitely need a roadie tech, yeah. Uh, yeah, just kind of been slowly but surely getting everything put back together here. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's, uh, it's, it's been a bit of an epic kind of, kind of getting the board set up and ready to go as a mixing platform. It's incredible, but, you know, it's like there's definitely uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of work that has to be done to, you know, get everything up and running. Anyway, I, I just need a minute here. Fuck off. Just fucking nag screens and all kinds of crap here. Let me just see what's going on here. Uh, hopefully that didn't fucking, did that just, okay, no, that did not. Okay, good, hold on. And let's move that down here so I don't have to fucking go like this the whole time. That might be nice. Let's try that. And let's see what that's looking. Yep, okay. Coming along, coming along. Just getting all my shit set up here, guys. Just bear with me a moment. Cleaning up a desktop and, you know, moving a bunch of crap off here, so. It's all good. And we'll get going here and mix reviews in just one damn second here. Uh, yes, my studio is fucking sick. Well, thank you. You know, I'm, yes. And it's, uh, yes, the moody lighting. It's a, it's a cinematic technique. And, uh, yeah, it just looks fucking cooler this way. That's for sure. Uh, studied a lot of lighting. Let's just put it that way. And let's just move all these goddamn screenshots out of the way. I take a lot of screenshots when I'm working on videos. What can I say? Damn it. Get under your bastards. Yeah. Okay, cool. And, oh, we're going to need that. Keep that there. Okay. <sighs> Bear with me a sec. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Just going to take a quick look at how things are all fitting together here in one sec. There we go. Okay. So I'm just testing my screen caps here. Um, oh, that's ATEM, and then scene two live, shoulder shot, VIP over reaper. What's scene two here? What, what do I get here? 
And yeah, that's my desktop. Okay, cool. Great. So if I'm playing a video back, we'll just look on there. Yeah, I'm not really using the ATEM at the moment. Yeah, that's not stuff for me. Plus, I got that set up. Hey, Charles Wagner. Thanks, Charles. Uh, we're going get, to get the porn off the desktop. Well, of course. Jeez. It's a family show. Jeez, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you guys have never watched porn once in your fucking lives. Right. Because you guys are so fucking innocent. Ugh. Uh, let's see here. Where'd that go? Streamlabs. There we go. So, okay, cool. Well, thanks, Charles Wagner. Uh, let's start out with some thrash. Okay, sounds good to me, Charles. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, oh, the song's called Ber Berserker. <laughs> Chuck Talica. Oh, great. Oh, wow. What could this possibly going to sound like? Hmm. I have no idea. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see what Charles has got for us. Let's uh, crank up the old Chuck Wagon and see uh, see what we got here. now okay that's literally crapping out is that better is that loud enough for you fuckers all right i'm literally clipping now <laughs> check two check two okay i'll get the uh Really good mix, Chuck. Yeah, hey, uh, share with class, man. What are you using on the uh, guitars on this? You definitely got that old school thrash sound going on. Toms are a t tiny bit on the thin side. I want to hear some fucking cannons, man. You got too much uh, trouble boosting going on. I love the guitars, though. That's like uh, definitely an old school kind of Malaya Rage kind of rhythm tone. I hear the witches. You know, remember that one? Hey, loud AF. Hey, hey look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! Look out! Okay, what uh, what speakers were loaded in your cabs there, Chuck? That old T seventy five cab? That's totally fine, James Kirby. All are welcome. Uh, Gilbert's absolutely right. Alan Dean, 
need access, man. Infinity prevails. Anything but uh, Apple Music is fine. Yeah, this is a fucking great mix, bro. All right, that was fucking cool. So uh, that's Chuck Wagon with Berserker. And that was fucking great. Uh, he didn't tell us what speakers they are, but apparently there are 421s on the cabinet there. Um, but that was pretty goddamn good, Chuck. Like, what's the deal there? Uh, what do you guys think, though? So we got to ask a question. Pat, or is it epic or is it fail? I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the epic thing there. I think that was pretty fucking epic indeed. I think he did a pretty great job. My, like I said my gripe is I thought the toms were kind of weak. I want to hear cannons and we're hearing, we're hearing tick, 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 tick. Because it's like, ooh, I got to add more definition. I got to add more definition. Remember, you know. We can we can bring the we can wait what that is. You add a lot of definition with the fader on. You can bring the fader up, and maybe bring that definition back a little bit. Definitely epic. Look at that. Yeah, I think the epic or fail thing. I think we're gonna go with that. Uh, Meg, big thanks uh, to the guys on my SGMG Discord who came up with that idea. We're kicking around some title ideas. Uh, I'm gonna be reviewing the Stam 1178, uh, and um, that's like their stereo 1176. Really cool fucking thing. So. Um, yeah, so uh, where, where the fuck was I? Yes, yeah, so the Stam 1178. So we're kicking around some title ideas, and one, one, one thing was like, oh, epic or fail? And I'm like, that might actually become the name for a mix, or for a gear review series. But I think uh, the title I'm going to go with this one is going to be, it's God's Damn Amazing. <laughs> so uh, that seemed to be the most popular one with the Discord crowd. Anyway, so th many thanks to everybody hanging on my Discord. And by the way, the Discord is absolutely free to join. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have a link. Okay, I was going to say, my God, please, hopefully my, my camera didn't fucking die on me again. I changed cameras. This sh I should not be getting overheats. This should be absolutely fine. Uh, yep, okay, cool. And yep, so far, so good. <laughs> What's the stream labs like? It's literally in the, in the description, James Kirby. I know you're a drummer, but okay, come on, man. Help, throw us a freaking bone here. You can do it, man. You can figure it out. Yeah, I didn't touch anything. I don't know. But the, 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 everything seems to be working okay. So uh, we'll do that. Let me get a bit more light on myself here. Hold on. Two seconds. While I'm waiting for that access. Let's see how that works. Ooh, there we go. How's that looking? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, it's all cinematic and shit. Yeah, okay. Right on. I just need to get a nice backlight going on. What about this one? Or is that going to be too much? Probably going to be too much. Is that too much? Yeah. Let's see how that looks. Is that epic enough? Epic, epic cinema look? Yeah, maybe. Uh, so, yeah. Alan Dean, did you, did you send me access yet? Yes! Peyote Master. Wonderful. Okay, let me download that. Uh, yeah, that's a good point, though. I, I know. I just need to get a proper backlight going on at some point. Oh, oh, well, Alan Dean, you're the, literally the only other person who sent a song in so far, so don't worry about it, man. It's all good. Anyway, no, I like the whole idea, epic or fail kind of thing. Um, so that was pretty good. So, uh, yeah, Chuck, let's... Uh, so we're going to copy that link. I'm going to put that... Uh, where's the goddamn edit button? Oh, there it is. Okay, come on, come on, motherfucker. Let's see what we got here. Uh... Okay, uh, today's beggars. Uh, okay, there you go. Oh, no, 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 fuck. That's the wrong goddamn link. Okay, hold on. Copy. Come on. Get over here. I'm working with two monitors now, so I don't actually need the second computer now, so this is kind of neat. Uh, you're now officially branded Chuck Wagon, by the way, Charles Wagner. So get it? Chuck Wagon. God damn it! Why is this not copying? Hold on a sec. Let me just give me one second here. Oh, there's the Spotify link there. Duh. Okay, there we go. 
So, yeah, like I said, man, you're, you're now officially Chuck Wagon, because Charles Wagner, it's just, there we go. Okay, you're officially in the bangers list there, Chuck, so congratulations, well done. Wow, very well recommended. Great mix, like I said, work on those toms, buddy. Hey, look out, bro, you're about hey. to witness fucking roll history. Shadow of the Bone, thank you so much. Really appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so very, very much. Uh, yeah, that's good. Gonna- <laughs> Yeah, SoundCloud, where it totally destroys your top end. Uh, yeah, not a fan. But anyway, uh, let's see what we got here. So we got Peyote Master by Alan Dean. Let's see what Big, Big Al has got for us this week. Uh, here we go. Bit of an old school sound there, too. Peyote has freed me. Nice vocal. My peyote has freed me. My peyote has freed me. My peyote has freed me. Very Molly Crew kind of vocal. Nice snare, dude. I like where this is going. I don't know, though. Lyrically, I'm not quite sure uh, what you're trying to get across. Has your peyote freed you or not? Now I see my soul before me pulled away the skin. Now I see my life before me fear is setting in. So please don't look now. Some changes on these are live drums, Alan? Fuck, dude. Good job. Hey, 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 And those toms out, they're kind of a little too down the center. So you want to get that epic roll across your stereo field. Ace your sick. You're up next, bud. You just jump the cue. Thank you so very much. I think we, we might have an epic track here, though. I'm hearing the guitars might need to come up just, just like a micro bit, you know. Someone can play bass! It's a first year on Spectre Sound! Element bass, there we go. Alan Dean, wow, yeah, wow. Give me a stream link. This would totally be going in the bangers list if I had a stream stream link. So this was a downloader though.
on the triplets on the kick drum, that's fine. That's called human playing. When they all sound equally strong, we know that's bullshit. I like the snare, man. It's cool. Like I said, uh, thoughts on the drum mix. I think it's pretty cool. I think you did a great job there. Give me one second. I'm just going to pause that make sure that's not going on. Okay, so like I said, I want to hear you pan the toms out. I think you did a cool job. Hey, look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Look out. Okay, you're third. I mean, like, okay, so I got 350s in the in the queue right now, so just bear with me, guys. Um, uh, so I'm going to have a series coming up or something where I'm showing how I'm getting my snares as of late because I've been uh, studying a lot of Andy Wallace as of late uh, and mixing on the console and stuff like that and then using some outboard reverbs. And I'm backing off on the snare compression light big time. And all of a sudden, you know, the hi-hat's no longer a big problem. Chris Lord Algae will say the same thing. is like, don't compress the snare because you're just turning up the hat. There's other ways to get cool sounds. So I'm actually, oh my God, I'm using a fucking uh, sample, but not in a traditional sense to get a really cool sound going with the snare. Um, I'm going to show the whole trick, how that all works, how we can use a top mic, a bottom mic, and, um, and um, a slight sample blend to really get the snare just fucking absolutely slamming. And this goes all goes back to that interview I did with Paul Lani, you know, where he was saying even on Megadeth P-Cells, which I love the drum sound on, had rudimentary sample blends on there. And I'm like, okay, well, if I've been listening to this record for all these years and liking it, obviously we can get away with some samples. We just have to be careful to make sure we don't, you know, edit the drummer out, that kind of thing. So we will be... Uh, exploring this a little bit in the next few weeks. I think you guys are going to like what, what what's coming. Um, I'm just waiting on a piece of gear to come in so I can give you guys the whole breakdown. But yeah, Alan Dean, man, that was killer. I might even want to try remixing that on the board at some point because I need to do some of those. But uh, what do you guys think? Okay, I want to hear from you guys. Was that epic or fail? Let me know. Let, let Alan know. It reminds me of good Blackmore. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all right there we go <laughs> all right i thought it was epic okay so the epics definitely seem to have it i think i think he uh i think he did a pretty goddamn good job there man yeah like nicely done. i love the vocal i thought the vocal was really good you were saying you weren't happy with the drum mixing you said it was a little too sloppy i don't know I hey, well, 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 uh, rock and roll like said, okay you're in the queue and what are we doing here so uh let's see here we've got what do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven people in the queue right now. So, I mean, like, it's really up to you guys, um, you know, where things go. I don't want to go too, too late tonight, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so we've got, uh, who, uh, da, 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 yeah, that was Dimorphic. Uh, yeah, where's Dimorphic? Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, hang on. No, no, no. Well, we got, yeah, we got to go to the 50s first. The first 50 up was Acer Sick, uh, Clyde. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so this is. Alan Dean, thanks so much for writing in and uh, sending that in. That was really great. Like, it was really good work, dude. Like I said, keep, keep tuned for my uh, drum mix videos coming up because um, I'm really happy with the results I've been getting, and I'm, I'm going to be really uh, happy to break it down for you guys and share how I've been getting the sounds. The other thing I'd say there, Alan, was maybe bring the guitars up just a teeny bit, but yeah. You're really hey, hey, look out, yeah, world. You're about to witness it. rock and roll oh, history. Oh, dude, jeez. Wow. Thank you so much, Dan. You're second on the list. And so we got a couple 50s and a whole bunch of 35s. And, uh, and yeah, we're going to be a while here. So, okay, great. Uh, here we go. Let's hit it. And uh, this is Cycles of Insanity by Clyde Sites. Here we go. On SoundCloud. So I'm not expecting good, good symbols. Because SoundCloud just loves destroying the top end. Both special K, the whole song, the mix, everything. Hey, hey look out! Well, you're about to witness hey, rock and roll history. Oh, God, then we will see you guys are spoiling me tonight. Like the backwards guitars are cool, man. That's backwards reverb. Whatever you got going on, it's fucking cool, dude. Yeah, the front of the line's pretty full, too. We might have to go with more than 50. Psycho. Every day is like a dream Living on each 
Okay, guitars are way too loud to make sure they definitely need to come down. We're hearing cymbals, but we're not hearing the drums themselves. We're not hearing the guitar. Definitely got some timing issues as well. Hey, everybody, it's Trey Xavier. How's it going, Trey? Example, I think of a band that's kind of probably playing out of their depth a little bit. I'd say maybe instead of trying to do a great big epic, maybe you guys should try doing something a little simpler and work on your recording skills before you try and lay it down. You know, something a little more complicated like that. Because this is kind of all over the place, guys. No, Trey, if you add ducking to your stream, you will not get 300 people watching. You just have to not be boring. Love insanity, the psycho. We know, Trey, we know. Like I said, I, I like the whole, all the backwards effects and shit, that's really cool, but it's like, you guys gotta work on your core elements, you gotta work on your timing there and get everybody on the downbeat. Because yeah, this is like, I love live off the floor stuff. I love a little bit loose with the timing. I can't stand stuff when it's all, you know, like, you know, super hyper type timeline and that kind of shit, but this, like anything, you could go too far. This is definitely going too far. And um, unfortunately, you know, I don't think you, you, this, you hit this one out of the park. So advice to give on this. Turn the fucking guitars down. That's first and foremost. Turn the snare up. We can't hear it. Hey, Village Roll. My mic is not muted. This is stomping all over it, is it not? Okay, so yeah, that one, unfortunately, like I said, uh, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, because I can't really hear what's going on here, so. Uh, yeah, okay, not enough cowbell. Not enough timing, unfortunately. Uh, I'm still pretty quiet. God damn it. What the hell? That's showing fucking you know, uh, thing here. Okay, what the fuck can I do to hear what's going on here? Um, fuck. Do I have my headphones around anywhere? Fuck. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I've got no way of monitoring that. I'm going to work on that in a sec, but this one needs some help, guys. Uh, you know, it's like maybe turn your distortion down a little bit on the guitars. The bass level is okay, but you got to bring up that, those kick and snare. Please see my series, How to Record Heavy Drums, and that'll break it down for you a little bit. Here's the trick, though. Don't compress the living shit out of your drums. Back that shit way off and bring, bring the stuff up. Remember, it's not just about the guitars. Everything has to be a balance. Um, so try and get a good drum and bass sound going first, then dial in your guitar sound around that. And uh, don't listen to your guitars soloed when you're dialing in the tones. Listen to the drums and bass playing and then dial in your guitar amp as you're playing to the drums and bass. That way they'll work better together. But first and foremost, though, you guys got to work on the performance because the timing was everywhere. A metronome would definitely help you guys out. But... Truth be told, I think you guys would be probably best served by doing something less complicated as you learn the recording process. Uh, you know, do like a nice little three chord wonder or something like that, just to kind of get your feet wet with the whole process and get familiar with what you got to do and then build off of that. I think that will help you out a lot more than trying to do this big epic, you know, prog piece 
and it just being kind of all over the place. Start simple and build. That's my best. That's the best advice I can give for you. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Clyde, for for sending that in. I really do appreciate that. Uh, hopefully, you found that helpful. Anyway, uh, you guys, I gotta ask: epic or fail? Let's hear your judgment. Come on, let's hear it. Oh, God, the guitar tracks came first, and then I had to track drums bass to that. Yep, okay. <laughs> that says so much. I've had to do that shit before, too, and it's it's never fun. Yeah, drums and bass first. It's always a good idea that way. That's a four shoe. All right, all right. Yeah, it's fail but fixable. Yeah. Fail but fixable. I, I like I like that. Yeah, you, you can definitely work off it. Uh, the trick is don't get discouraged. Keep trying. Keep Keep doing it again and again and again. You will get better. It took me fucking forever to get to where I'm at, but it did happen eventually because I didn't quit. Best of luck to you, man. Okay, next up we have da -da -da -da, White Noise by Crown of Ages. Ages? How do, I don't know how to pronounce that. Here we go. I'm going to see it. I'm gonna... Is there a speaker on that? Anyway, I'm going to check the broadcast here, see what we got. Check two, check two. Yeah, I'm definitely peeking those. There's a serious lack of bass guitar on this mix. How's that? Hey, there we go. That should really cut things down a bit. Yeah, there we go. Better? The guitars are pretty fried sounding, actually. I like the vocal, though. Another story left unchanged. There is nobody left to blame. I'll sink alone in my knees. It almost sounds like the, the distortion doesn't have a speaker IR on it. But you need to bring that bass guitar up. It, it, that's the whole foundation for heaviness. And it's just lacking. So this definitely is suffering by mixed by a guitar player syndrome. The vocals are great though. You'll be breaking the mold. The big question is, I gotta ask, did you take DI tracks of the guitar? I can't bring the mic up anymore. Right, I gotta turn the bulb down. How's that? Is that any better? DI, yes, a direct input, like a clean signal of the guitar from the pickup. Because you can save this. How's that? Better? Is that any better? Like I said, I can't hear what's going on, guys, so I, I need some feedback. Here. Hey, Trey, it's a very complicated setup. Why don't you go fuck yourself, buddy? Thank you, 
Mark Call. Fucking headphones then, because I'm getting a bit of everything from everybody. Give me a minute. Give me a second again. Looking down at empty bottles. Now you're in too deep. Swallow fall the death of cocktails. Lay you down. Thank you very much for that. By the way, you're in the list. I know what I gotta do here. You're just an image lost in time. In time. Me where the secrets you might find. You might find. Believe me now. Believe in me. up on my tablet here to hear what I'm getting. Okay, check one, two, check one, two. Let's see how this goes. Secrets you might find. You might find. Believe me now. Believe in. Okay, yeah, so the ducking works, but the voice is a little quiet. I don't know why. Oh, fuck me, I know why. You're just an image lost in time. In time. Me where the secrets you might find. Hey, look out, world, you're about to witness rock and roll history. Hey, Super Monster Party, thank you. How fucking long is this song? Yeah, it's like, wow, it's like, what the fuck is going on here? Hold on. Very All right, I almost got this through. Hey, whoa, whoa. Okay.
I just need I need need you guys to bear with me for one sec. I've got a technical issue here. Um, yeah, it seems like yeah, my vocal is somehow getting turned down, and I don't know fucking why. So I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out here. Just bear with me a second here. Try not to lose my fucking shit. Yeah, wow, there's like 332 of you guys in here, and I really appreciate you hanging out and watching me fuck up my way through this this epic fucking live stream. That's for sure. I don't know why everything's so fucking quiet. Why my vocal's so goddamn quiet? I'm trying to run it down. Uh, I will figure it out. Why? Uh, how about? Hang on. Let's see if that's working. Uh, how's this? Check, check, check. All right, that's 22 on the fucking input. I said, this is all kind of new. I'm, I'm just figuring out all this stuff. And whoa, what is that? Okay, if I, is that, is that proper there? Let's see what's going on. And what the fuck is that? What is that? Um, okay, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, that's right. That is 22. Okay. How about here? Is that going here? No. Okay. Sorry, just, yeah, I got like fucking so many goddamn inputs all over the fucking place. This is maxed out. I don't fucking get it. And if I crank this up, that goes into the reds big time. You're giving a porn up for this. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> How's this? But that actually is loud. I don't fucking get it. Uh, let me try one more thing. Hold on. Hey, look out, world. You're about to witness rock and roll history. Oh, oh thank you. Thank you there, Watering Wizard. I am... Add a bit more gain onto that. No, nope, that's still. Ow! Jesus Christ, that's fucking loud. <laughs> Why? Hey, look out, world. You're about so... to witness rock and roll oh, history. Ow! <laughs> Why am I so goddamn quiet? Uh, no, like I said, it's it's showing clipping here, and I'm like, I'm trying to make sure, see what the hell the deal is. I tested this earlier; it was fine. I don't, I don't fucking get it. So, um, you know, now, and now I got this massive loop going on. Okay, I think I should be okay now. All right, let me let me put put some fucking mixes in here for a sec. Okay, cool. And, oh, Christ's sakes. Because uh, I, I don't really don't want to have to, oh, fuck, Super Monster Party, you're in here, too. Okay. Oh, you got Ty Christian singing. Cool. Okay, great. Super Monster Party. Yeah, you're in the, you're in the fucking loop there. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see how that works. Hang on. Uh, let's play a fucking song here. Okay, so we've got... White noise. No, we already heard that. Crown of Ages. Yeah, that one went on. Or maybe I did play two songs. I don't fucking know. <sighs> okay, I got to download something here. The Beast Inside by I don't know who because you didn't put your band name in the song title, which it says to do right in the video description. Um... Okay, and yeah, like I said, I just don't get what's going on. I'm max here, I'm max here, but this is so much fucking louder, and I don't know why. It's getting amp. The music's getting amplified. Is the music getting amplified double? What's going on here? And oh, oh, really? Let's let's see what's going on here. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is getting played double here. Let's see what's going on. Uh, let's play that fucker. Come on, where the fuck is it? The Beast Inside. Let's give it a spin. No, it's only been playing the one place. Good 
give this a play in a sec here. Hey, look out, world. You're about to witness rock and roll history. Freddy Four Figures, thank you. Test one, two, test one, two, seeing if this works. I got my stream up here on the tablet. We're seeing what we get. That's not bad. I think we're going to have to use it about there, guys. For mixing, Trey, you stupid fuck. The vocals work really well on this. Okay, wow, that was pretty goddamn quick. Okay, that was, uh, that was Imperial, or what was that? That was, fuck! <laughs> Eight million fucking windows open here. What the fuck was that again? That was, uh, something taste for you or something? Where the fuck did that go? Yeah, that was the beast inside. Yes, I thought that was quite nice. Let me just give another spin there. Sorry. Got eight million fucking windows open. I'm losing my fucking mind. You're quiet, Clint. You're quiet, Clint. Why? Why the fuck is it happening? Why isn't this fucking working? Fuck, you wouldn't believe this shit I wanted to go through last night. Yes, mixing on a, on a great big console is wonderful, but man, when shit goes wrong, it really goes wrong. Oh, man, I was just about ready to throw in the towel. Watch Christian, ask Christian Vey about that. He was here last night, and I just about lost my fucking mind. It's like we, we're all set up to re record guitar, and then suddenly guitars are only coming out one side. I'm like, why? Why the fuck is this happening? So it's like, this is literally two nights in a row I'm running into this shit. So it's like, you know, eventually I will get all this shit figured out, but it's like, I don't understand why the vocals are coming so quiet here. Uh, this is obviously an issue I need to run down and I don't know why. I'm using LaudioCast right now and this should be doing the thing and it's fucking not. And that's going to Black Hole 2 channel, right? Uh, yep. And it's like, this is the thing. Mac audio just drives me fucking insane because it's, it's like fucking... 
you, 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 on a PC, you can just hit loop back. It goes to where it's supposed to go. Mac, you got to go jump through all this fucking big, uh, giant pain in the dick. Uh, what is this? Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh. Okay, was that was that the problem? Hmm, hang on a sec. Let me get my stream. I think I'm... <laughs> Uh, what, what the fuck, what the fuck is that? Oh my God. Has something been getting turned down this whole fucking time? Okay. Did... <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Motherfucking son of a bitch. Oh! Fuck me! Oh, God. <laughs> what do you mean this is too loud? You guys want it louder! Oh, no! Oh, it's too fucking loud! Well, this is what you wanted, fuckers! You got it! I <laughs> uh, just want to say, fuck you, Trey Xavier was not the board. Uh, it was LaudioCast. It was the, the wonderful uh, Mac audio system. So, um, let me see here. Let, let, let me show you guys. Actually, I can do this. Let me just mute. Yeah. So, uh, you can get an idea here. I'll, I'll get to the mixed reviews in a sec, guys. Uh, by the way, I'm going to ask you about that, that next one. But uh, what, what is it? This one right here? Is this it? Yeah. Okay. So, we go here. Here's my mixer. Okay. For LaudioCast. So, I've got my audio coming in here off the Fireface. The playback. You know, if we play that again, um, of course, uh, God damn it. Uh, anyway, if we go, of course, it's not going to fucking play the song, but song comes up here off Fireface UFX on the main. And then I have the vocal here. This, I didn't even know was a hey, fucking vo out, volume. Bro, you're about to rock and roll history. history. Somehow that got changed. So now I'm back up here. Okay, so that was not the Neve board. So fuck you, Trey, Trey Xavier. Um, it wasn't the board's fault. Everything from the board was working as nice as it should be. And see, we have this nice, big, you know, thick, epic sound, and it's fucking nice and loud. So this is the kind of shit, unfortunately, I have to fucking deal with. And it's like, I had no idea Laudio Cast does that. So, okay. Problem solved. And it's usually, this is the thing, okay? Doing it live here on the on the fly, it's like, Shit like this happens and there's literally nothing I could, can do to control it. You know what I mean? And Beats and Meats, thank you very much for the donation, by the way. Uh, fucking love you, Dave. Uh, you're, you're the best. And where the fuck are we here? Come on. And there we go. Uh, just set your phone because Streamlabs hate my Dropbox like it took some trades suggesting I'll retract the drums. Oh, God. Uh, you just retract drums. Oh, my God. Okay. I will try and, uh, I'll try and take a look at it. Okay. Let's... Uh, Let's play some fucking songs. I really appreciate everybody's patience there. Um, yeah, well, uh, so that was The Beast Inside. Yeah, got that. And next up is Burn the House Down, final one. And again, all the 50s are going first. So, uh, yeah. I do appreciate everybody's patience on this. Yes, I have both, uh, Rocco. Yes, they're great. They are. I need to upgrade uh, for the newest Mac OS for Audio Hijack, though. But I have Loopback. Uh, I use that for a lot of stuff, actually. Yeah, the, Rogue, Rogue, the Rogue Amoeba stuff is absolutely fine. So, I gotta ask, last song, epic or fail? I thought the vocals were pretty good. I just thought the bass guitar could have come up a bit. I thought it was a pretty good mix. Anyway, I appreciate everybody just dealing with my fucking bullshit here for a couple minutes and, um, and, and saying that... Uh, Get swole. I have a nice time. Okay, nice. Okay. Beast inside by Dynamorphic. Oh, okay, that was Dynamorphic. Okay, well, hey, Dynamorphic, great job. I thought it was a cool mix. Like I said, bass guitar could come up just a teensy bit, but I didn't have any real gripes or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, okay. Yeah, Epic or Phil, man. Come on, guys. Let us know what you think. You know, the crowd fucking, we, we, we want to hear from you. The show's about you guys. All right. <laughs> Can hear all the way to Norway now, Glenn. <laughs> Good. Okay. Hey, if you can hear me in Norway, great. You guys should bathe more than once a month. Anyway. Okay. Oh, but we're Vikings. Yes, we. I know. We can smell you all the way from North America. Anyway. Okay. Here we go. Uh, burn the house down. Final one. Here we go. Open up my phone. It's a little bright. It's 
It's a little whiny. Little out of key. Yeah, there's literally no no bass on this. Where's the bass? Let me guess, mixed on headphones? Sorry, I'm listening to commercials right now. I'm trying to trying to hear where I'm at. It's a little whiny though. I'm, I'm not sure. Is this like Bobcat Goldwyn on a bad day? Okay, trying the compressor now. Okay, we're good. Recorded at Helen Keller Studios. Yikes, that's that's kind of hard. No, it's not as bad as Lou Reed. I would definitely rather listen to this than fucking you know Metallica with Lou Reed. Ice Honey, anybody? Ooh, that was uh, that was fucking hideous. Um, okay. Uh, first and foremost, okay, there are frequencies below 500 hertz. Okay, you need to use them. We need some bottom end there. That tells me you probably got a monitoring issue. So um, a couple suggestions. Stop mixing on headphones! That would be a first one. And secondly, okay, I, I got to put these on the show. Give me one second. I want to show you guys something. These are really fucking cool because I'm sick and tired of hearing the fucking, oh, I don't have any room for monitors. Fucking bullshit excuse, which is exactly that. It's a bullshit fucking excuse. You need fucking monitors. If you want to mix and you want your shit to sound good, you need to fucking next monitors you need a neutral platform to listen on so you can hear what the fuck is going on with your fucking music right headphones can definitely help uh, okay like you know the slate vsx or you know i got some new ones from sennheiser gonna be coming real soon can't wait to check those out those will be awfully fun fuck you charles wagner <laughs> yes i have the cali tabletops i'm gonna go grab those for a second uh give me one sec what do you mean you can't hear anything I swear you. Okay. Oh, ow. Oh, you can't hear anything now. Like you, it destroyed your hearing. Okay. I think that's what you're getting at. Not like you can't hear. I'm at, give me one sec, guys. Be right back. Now, check these out. These are the Kelly LP UNFs. Look at these. Look, look at how fucking tiny they are. I mean, they take take like no fucking space. You can throw them on a desktop. Let's see if I can get a light on these here. Whoop, let's not break something here. Um, but, you know, you can, yeah, here, check it out. There, you can see that better. Like, they, they're they fucking tiny. They'll fit on your desk. You know, you just put them at arm's length and you're good to go. So if you've got space for a laptop, you got space to put these up. You know what I mean? And th this is this is the important thing because these are going to be great to mix on. They're they're not like super expensive or anything like that, and these are going to help your mixes out huge. So I'd really recommend you check these out, and these will be a, a lot of help. So go check them out at Cali Audio or Sweetwater or something like that, and uh, grab yourself a set because these are going to be way better to mix on than headphones. Let me go put these back. Yeah, the IKs are pretty good too. I, I mixed, I had a set of those, and I think I left them in LA. I blew one up. Yeah. 
Yeah, the IK I, I loud monitors are really good too. Uh, yeah, there you go. Need some isolation pads underneath. Okay. Always listen to the car. Yes, Alan Dean. You are absolutely right. Always, 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 always listen in the car. Anyway. Wow. 319. This is like the biggest stream I've done in the last two years. I just want to thank everybody for hanging out tonight. Um, I, I want to thank, um, like I said, my SMG discord members for, uh, the episode name suggestion. I think that's great. It's definitely getting a lot more engagement uh, from everybody, so I do appreciate that. Um, it's just wonderful to see all you guys hanging out here. I really, 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 really do appreciate that. So hopefully, 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 hopefully I can be some help to you guys and help give you uh, some good fucking advice. What do you mean my mic's muted again? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you just fucking with me? Looks fine to me. Hey, look out, world, you're about to witness rock, rock and roll history. history. Bore your mom's car. Yeah, okay, he's ripping it. Okay, who who said that? Okay, who 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 said my mic was muted? Okay, so yeah, it's fine. Thank you, Beats and Meats. Uh, who who's who's the fucking prick who did that? Hold on a second here. Uh, dun, 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 dun. okay, who was the fucking bastard, motherfucking son of a bitch who did that? That we're gonna hold the show up for? Uh, who is that motherfucker? Let's see here. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we miss you. Oh, I miss you guys too. I was sick. Uh, I can't fucking see it. Oh, you're lucky you got away with it, you you bastard. Okay. I wasn't going to ban him, but I was going to put him in timeout, but I can't find it. You got lucky, pal. All right. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. What happened to TJ? Uh, where'd that dude go? You'd have to ask him. Uh, he quit years ago, and, uh, yeah, he wasn't happy with the way things were going. And, you know, I mean, like, he had his own feelings on it, and that's fine. Uh, oh, TJ Mods again? Jesus Christ, TJ Mods. Thank you. Uh, completely unnecessary, but thank you. That's two songs. Forgive and forget, Master. Okay, jeez. Got a bunch of 50s I'm going through here, so just bear with me. Okay, so next up, we've got uh, Diamorphic with a lyric video. Hooray. Uh, here we go. Let's see what Diamorphic got. Yes, Adonis. Absolutely. <laughs> Super Monster Party says Chlamydia sucks. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Yes, they are. Ooh, I want to hear more of an epic reverb on that snare. I like the vocal. That's cranked. It's a quiet master. Oh, here we go. That should work. Fuck you guys, you were asking for the mic louder, now you suffer. <laughs> nice groove though. This mix is what I'm uh, suffering from what I call the brick snare. Explain that once the song's over.
No, you can't. It's a lyric video. I'm just not playing it on general principle. It's pretty fucking good, though. I think we got a banger here. Killer fucking vocals. That was dynamorphic was suffocating. Uh, that's going in the bangers list. Uh, I'm going to ask you guys, epic or fail. I know what my vote is. I want to hear from you. Type in. Go, go. Run to your keyboards. Let me know what you think because uh, we want to hear from this. Uh, yeah, that would be fucking cool. And yes, while you're at it there, hit the fucking like button, by the way. Uh, treat, the, treat the like button like you treat the Reaper still evaluating button. It costs nothing to hit it and uh, keeps you going. So there we go. Epic. Definitely epic. That was fucking cool. All right. Great, great, great. And really killer stuff, guys. Um, I like the song there. Uh, Diamorphic. Yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, let's hear. Uh, suffocating. If you guys want to check that out, the link is down at the bottom of the video description. Good work. Like I said, the only thing I'm hearing is I'm hearing, I'm hearing a phenomenon here. Uh, I call it the brick snare. And, okay, yeah, we already had fucking Chuck Wagner on here uh, with Berserker. Why is that? I never closed that out. Okay, fuck, okay. Forgive and forget Master. That's up next. Uh, and again, I try to get all the fucking 50s, you know, in play. And if I forget something, hey, you know, if, I, if by the end of the night and I haven't played your fucking mix, just reach out to me and I'll be sure to play it like next week. Apologies if I miss something here. It's just been kind of uh, a little bit crazy tonight. Anyway, so. The brick snare. This is a phenomenon I've been noticing ever since I got the Neve console. And it's like, it's just the way how analog processing handles uh, certain signals as opposed to digital processing. And it's like, and I heard it, I heard that what I call the brick snare on a fucking, uh, on a major label release. And I'm like, wow, that snare is just like, ugh. It's, it sounds like a fucking brick. It's just like, it's all frequencies at all times. And there's like, it's just like, it's just like a punch in the face, like constant. And then I started listening to a few other mixes and I'm hearing the same thing. I heard it on my own mixes and I'm like, it's not nearly as pronounced, but it's still got that same kind of like fucking quote unquote pro tools, fucking snare sound. And I'm kind of hearing it a bit there on, on that mix as well. So it's like, might want to back off the compression just a teensy bit and let the snare breathe a little bit more. I'm, like I said, I'm going to do a breakdown on this in the very near future. And again, this is all going back to, um, to Andy Walsh's uh, style mixing snare drums. Uh, Andy's done like some just incredible mixes. Uh, hey, I remember anybody remember Sepultura Territory? Yeah, that's Andy Wallace. Um, so that's what, you know, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to do a breakdown on that. So I want you to pay attention to that. And hopefully that can help you get better snare sounds as well. Because I'm, I'm just hearing it a little bit there. It's just the way how the top end doesn't quite hit as strong as the low end. And it's just, it, it's 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 a frequency thing, but it's a transient thing as well. And I think we're over overcooking things a little bit in the digital realm, and um, it's kind of hurting the snare sounds a little bit. And but it wasn't fucking bad though. The vocals were fucking stellar. Like I said, I'm just thinking that the drum mix could have been a little bit nicer. So that's that's my advice there. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed, of course. Uh, so when that video drops, you get notified when it comes out. I think you guys are gonna like it. That's for sure. Oh, is EQ snare after compression? I always do it the other way. I'm always EQ, then hit, hit it with compression, you know. But uh, like I said, I do, I'm do. i doing it. What I'm doing now is I'm not compressing the snare, or at least not nearly as much. I'm only doing a tiny, 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 tiny little bit. And that cleans things up for me massively and gives me a much more punchier snare and less hi-hat bleed as well. And like I said, I'm going to do a piece on it. It's still going to be a week or two out because I got just 8 million things I got to do. Uh, like I said, we're going to be we're gonna be doing the... Uh, uh, the, the God stam amazing fucking, uh, uh, stereo 1178 compressor. That's going to be super cool. Uh, and once again, thanks to the SMG discord for giving me a title idea. <laughs> it's God stam amazing. It's the stam 1178. It's going to be fucking killer. I think you guys are going to dig it. And yeah, snares need, snares need to go flaff, not foof or snares need to go snap, not thud. You know what I mean? So again, it's just. 
let's try doing the snare a little bit different. Like I said, I think you guys are going to dig it. And I'm going to show you how to do it in hardware, in the analog realm, and then with software as well. I think you guys are really, really, really going to like it. I'm super excited about it. The cool thing about having the board is it's completely re-energized the way how I fucking mix. And um, I even managed to do this really complex vocal mix uh, that I've been putting off forever because I knew doing it in Reaper was just going to take fucking forever to do. And being able to do it on the board and just ride the faders and just automate everything because it had this huge choir style vocal. Again, a video I need to get done. Um, it just made it so much easier to get everything figured out. Anyway, okay, let's... Uh, so we're going to do Forgive and Forget Master, whoever, by whoever this is. Guys, you got to put your band name in the song title. This sounds like the Scotland song. It's just a little bright. Forgive and Forget. Okay, helping a local band get a few demos. Okay. Set on tick. Guys, you gotta put the band name in the title That way I don't have to search for it So I know who the hell I'm talking to Just makes the show go that much faster Who the fuck are you? Hey, who the fuck are you? Seriously, let us know in the comments. I have no idea who the hell you are. Like I said, if you don't put the fucking band name in the title, you know, I'm sitting here scrambling and I can't fucking listen for the listen to the mix and offer you help. You have to fucking let me know who the fuck you are. Put it in the fucking title. I can't stress that enough, guys. It just makes the show that I, all I got is forgive and forget master. Forgive and forget by who? I got a bunch of links here and I'm going through them all. I don't see who the hell it is. So please, would the real person who's saying this, please stand up and let us know who you are. It would be a big help. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Give me wealth. Just tell them I you know best for your son and I will do my best to support you. Oh, it is TJ Mods. Okay. Thank you, TJ Mods. We already did burn the house down. I'm so sorry. Okay, well, okay, hold on a second. So that was TJ Mods again. Uh, yeah, you sent me like two songs, didn't you? Where, 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 do we have any notes for that? Because the first one we already did, that was, yeah, you said us burnt the house down, right? And then this was forgive and forget. Let me just double check this for a sec. Yeah, bur bur okay, well, we had two TG, TG mods in, in the fucking row there. Hold on a second. Yeah, bur burn the house down was your first one. And you'll never be mine. Right, okay. You said Okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, so okay, I'm sorry, TJ, and and it's like I'm I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm trying to be helpful. It's just try, you know if we if I have an idea of who I'm talking to, that just helps. You know what I mean? So it's like, please, okay, if you're gonna submit and you're just gonna send me a file, that's cool. But please put the band name in the song t or in the file name so I know who I'm talking to. It's just it just helps out massively. Uh, where the hell did that even come up there? So. Uh, give me one sec here. I'm just trying to see where this all came down. Give me a damn second here. 
Uh, what is here? Da, 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 da. Nope, that's not it. Where the fuck is it? Where's my fucking... Um... Oh, come on. What fucking... Where... No, 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 no. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I, 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 pay, I appreciate it. I really do here. So what do we got here? Dimorphic, dang it. Dimorphic. TJ Mods, there's the first one. Where was the second one? I think it got fucking, ow. Base cleft, Derek, did you get put in here? Let me make sure that's in here. Okay. Oh, shit. Hold on, hold on. Making sure, I'm just double checking all the, all the fucking donations here. Make sure everything fucking wound up where it's supposed to. That's all. So just bear with me, guys. Uh, this is the this is the part of the this, this is this is why. Uh, okay, Lisa left a smile. Okay, that's cool. Got it. Wandering Wizard. Yep, yep, yeah. Dan Griffin. TJ Mods. Yeah. Oh, okay. Burn the house down. That was your first one. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let me just see something here. January twenty second. Oh, okay. 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 Okay, well, we're in February. Yeah, okay. I was looking at it. Okay, TJ Mods, 98, February 26. Okay. And I don't know why that showed that. Oh, here we are. Oh. Try sharing that song instead. Okay. What the hell? February 26, 914. Was this it? I'm so sorry, guys. Just bear with me a second. I'm, I'm uh, just figuring this out. Okay. What the hell? Nope. One damn second. Okay, hold on. See what that is? Okay, there. Yeah, okay. It did come up. All right. So sorry for that, guys. Yeah, I know. Super exciting to watch me flounder my way through this shit. Again, just getting deluged with links and just want to make sure nobody gets left behind because this stuff's really important to me, too. You know, and I want to help. Okay, TJ. Um, okay. Definitely, uh, I'll ask these guys, what do you guys think? TJ Mods, epic or fail? <laughs> it's not about the fucking ranking it in. Okay, maybe there's a little. I, 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 anyway, no, I'm just teasing. But like I said, I just invest this money back into the show. This lets me pay my fucking editors and, and that kind of stuff. Ziz Gorland's working his ass off tonight. We're looking at a really cool high-end guitar from China. And it was like 2200 bucks. And you guys can believe that? <laughs> okay. Okay, we don't have it. I like... TJ, I like what you're doing musically. I think I like what you're doing. Maybe sing maybe a little less nasally. I mean, like, uh, maybe you're a Cure fan. Maybe you're not. But I think I think the world is big. We only need one Cure in the world. Um, but there's a there's a, you said you were mixing on headphones on one of your songs. So this might, again, be the problem where you might want to get get some monitors that can help out. Or get the Slate VSX or the new Sennheisers you're going to be reviewing. I mean, doing a cool piece on, you know, a very small mixing setup uh, that might be super helpful to you. But the whole thing seems a little bit bright. So that does tell me your monitoring is skewed. So you might want to take a look at the Slate VSX. I mean, I do appreciate the donations you're putting here, but maybe uh, the Slate stuff would probably help out a lot more than sending me money uh, in this case because you've definitely got a monitoring issue. Just the whole end is really, really harsh. So that tells me, yeah, you're just hearing, not hearing things correct and you're probably adding way, way too much EQ to everything. Uh, that and maybe a couple of vocal lessons wouldn't hurt either. Uh, you can check out Ty Christensen's course over at spectracademy.net. He could probably help you out a little bit. It's called the Own the Stage Vocal Course, uh, which will probably help you find the big voice. So if you can go from we, you know, kind of why is it? Hey! You know, sound off like you got a pair, man. It, it's it's all good. But I very, very, very much appreciate uh, your donations. Like I said, all that stuff just goes right back into the show. And I'm ever so grateful to all you guys, uh, not only for fucking donations, but for everybody just hanging out tonight. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. I haven't had a, a, a stream this big since I don't know when. Um, so I'm absolutely grateful to all you guys uh, for hanging out tonight. This is way more fun than I was expecting it to be. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, we got 342 of you guys in here right now and we got 246 likes. Um, you know, if you engage that like button, that just pushes things that much. Much more. So, if you guys could hit the hey, like hey, button. Well, guys, oh, 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 all right, kills J. Thank you very much, kills J. Uh, that's uh, very much appreciated. 
And let's see your recent events. Okay, hold up a sec. And let me just pull that up. And there we go. Kills Jay. Oh, yeah, that's what that TJ Mod thing was. Okay. Well, thanks, Kills Jay. Um, dying slowly. Okay. Well, oh, that sounds. Okay, that was forgive and forget. Yeah, we got that. Did TJ Mods. Thank you for all that. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Beats and Meats. We still got to do Beats and Meats. What was the fucking track you sent there? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, hold on. Let me double check Beats and Meats. He had to text me directly. Thanks, Beats and Meats. But that's fine. Let's see what we got here. Uh, that was Dropbox. Okay. Make sure that's coming on. Oh, yeah. Was that was that the name of the song there? Dying Slowly Quicksand? No, Bad News Over Happy Music. What the hell is this? Okay. Right, right, right. Okay, let's give Beats and Meats a, a fucking play here because he's been waiting for a while. Um, no, I did not get your link there, Murray. Um, please, um, please PM me. Like, you go to my About page, hit the uh, private messages, and I'll be happy to check it out, man. Because, yeah, like, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you got you got to say. And I'd love to see, you know, you're testing, you know, you're testing how, how it all turned out for it. Because I find that shit fascinating. Again, if we're, but if you're going like humbucker to single coil, like, hey, dude, like, believe me, nobody's, you know, nobody's challenging that. You know, maybe there's a difference from single coil to single coil. I don't do enough single coil shit to really be um, any judge. But humbucker to humbucker, <laughs> yeah, not that big of a deal. Anyway, all right, let's. Uh, hey, Deep Burrito, how's it going, dude? Anyway, let's give uh, let's give Beats and Meats a uh, saw um, a play here. It's called Bad News Over Happy Music Tracking Mix Template Two or something like that. Okay. <laughs> See what we get here. What told me here to end this story? Recurring thoughts were overwhelming. I tried to live like everybody does, but I can't. So what? It's over. It's a little bright on the snare, Dave. Where are your symbols? A lot of snare there. Go to my Youabout page. It's not difficult, man. They used to have an about page. Oh, okay. Just go to, uh, just hit the more button. Yeah, you want to go here, Murray. Just click the more button and then hit the view email address. PM me there. Nice bass tone. I like that. That I know. I know what that bass tone is.
Okay, Super Monster Party, thank you. It sounds like actual songwriting going on there. What's that? Hey, we're not allowed to do that. We have to do nine-minute self-exploration gent epics. That, that's what the kids want these days. Not songwriting. Jeez. Okay. Uh, epic or fail, guys? What do you think? Let's hear from you. Come on. Let, you know, hit the, type away. Let's, let, let's hear it. Let's hear it. What do you guys think? I thought it was interesting. I just thought the stairs a tiny bit spiky. You know what I mean? Might be a little too, uh, a little too, a little too spiky. Definitely doesn't have the brick thing going on though. That's cool. Uh, somebody's been paying attention to the same Andy Wallace lessons I have. <laughs> but yeah, where's the fucking room mics? Where's the overheads? It seems uh, to be missing hey, symbols. Hey, That's for sure. Oh, modern fuzz. Hey, thanks, dear uh, Alex King. Thank you very much. That's much appreciated. Um, I'm only going to be doing, oh, no, 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 we're not playing that yet. Six and a half minutes. Jesus Christ, guys. Okay. Uh, at the rate, all the donations are coming in and all the rest of the stuff. Um, I need to, I'm going to have to cut this off, uh, for submissions here in a little bit here because I need to, I, I do need to fucking survive here. So anyway, okay. We're going to, we're going to continue on here though. We're just going to move on. But I thought it was a cool song. Like I said, I, th I think that's not bad. It's a good jumping off point. Uh, I know our buddy Alex is probably going to mix this, but you know, just try and give things a bit more space. just seems like you got everything kind of jammed up there. You know what I mean? Um, I thought it was, thought it was a pretty epic track. That's for sure. It just, it needed symbols. It needed room. It needed some space. So yeah. Anyway. Okay. So next up, uh, super monster party. Cause they, uh, bumped up their, uh, their 35 to a 50. So thank you for that. Um, our buddy Ty Christian singing this on this one. So there we go. I don't know, man. It's, uh, you know, I mean like it's, it's, it's like it's Ty Christian featuring Ty, Ty Christian. That's cool. I mean, like it's no Brad Johnson, but I mean, I guess we, we can make do. Let's see what we get here. One winged angel. Is it a lyric video or what do we get here? Definitely about video games of some sort, I imagine. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Definitely not mastered. Thin, guys. Thank you, Sergio. Thanks for sending me the epic mix reviews, by the way. You sent me a link to my own stream. Guys. Thank Thanks, Sergio. That was, that was great. Thank you, Willow Davis. Face 
Thank you, Axe Ax Slicker. Hey, Holy fuck. Oh, oh, Watering yeah. Wizard, thank you. Oh, fuck. Okay. Regis is not letting me do a fucking refund here. I don't get it, but dude, seriously, you gotta send me the proper links. I don't know what you want me to do. You're happy to play the song, but you gotta send me the song. Okay, epic or fail? What do you guys think? I think that was pretty epic. I think it needs a lot more bottom end. Uh, the whole thing, yeah, obviously, it sounds like a work in progress. Pretty cool, though. Uh, I like the whole feel of what's going on. Um, yeah, I think pretty good job. I think the songwriting is really cool. I think with a proper mix, that's going to be great. It's got a long ways to go. It needs to definitely be beefed up in the bottom end. It needs to be beefed up at the top end. Uh, okay. Wondering what, good. Okay. Yeah, Sirijos, like I said, you sent me a link to my own stream. So I don't know what to tell you there. Um, I just checked it out on PayPal. I can't refund it off the app. So I'm trying. I would like to. but. You know, it, it's like, hey, man, if <laughs> I, I can't fix, you know, I can't fix this right now during the middle of a stream. So mail me later. Hopefully we can figure something out. I need to pull up my laptop and well, maybe I can pull up my laptop and do it that way because I can't pull it out on my. Yeah, you know, give me a minute. Here. I need a desktop and I'm not doing that on, on the fucking live stream. OK, give me a sec here. Just kind of adding stuff in. And what, what the fuck? God damn it. No! Hang on. Get over here. Okay, here we go. And Watering Wizard. Watering Wizard, I think this is like the second song you guys have sent to me. Hey, see? Watering Wizard actually included a fucking title in the song. Imagine that. Cool. All right. Okay. Um, I'm only going to keep donations open for another 15 minutes, guys, and then I've got to got to call it call it quits for the night. Well, not call it quits. i still got to go through everybody's song, but I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I got 15 songs in the queue right now. So like I said, if I... Anthony Volpe. You know, Anthony, I had a million fucking uh, 50s come in. So yes, you're up in the, you're up in the thing. I know you are. Uh, you didn't get lost. It's just you, you sent 35 and then a whole bunch of people sent 50s. So I, th those get first priority. So just, it will get played. Relax. Keep your panties on. It's only been 90 minutes. Chill. It's coming. Everybody said, chill the fuck out, Anthony. Okay. And let's hear. Uh, Shadows of the Throne memories. What do we got here? Do I feel by Yeah. Anthony Volpe, you're literally like right after this one. Like you're, you're, you're next in line. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Shadow of the Throne. Yes. You're next. See, I'm playing all the 35s now. See, guys, this is how this works. Okay. Basic mathematics. Must be a lot of drummers online tonight. But the 50s go first, then the 35s, then the 15s. Okay. So if you've been waiting a while, that's because you got a bit. That's how that works. So here we go. Shadows of the Throne with memories. Thank you very much, Mike. Unless someone throws a 50. Which I'll be accepting for the next 15 minutes. Ooh, nice guitar. And the dream we're fading No more ferocious eyes Come back on the drugs you're taking Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna see if I can refund that other one Get the setback feeling Cause back to big and live I see it only see you I see it only see you Come here and I go to waste road You're so Very fucking angry No, sit back Cause everyone else knows What it's like to be under your spell What it's like to be under your spell What it's like to be under your spell I can't get out, can't get out, don't lie, don't lie. That's a really nice 
mix, guys. Bring the lead up. Based about the locks, character on it, and I'd be willing to voice act it. Yes and yes, I'd be fucking thrilled to work with Brendan Small. Oh yeah, would I ever? Fucking call me. Go look up my studio number. Get hold of me. Yes, let's make that happen. Serigios, I got you your money back. Try not to do that again. It's a really good mix, Shadow of the Throne. I just don't like the brick snare, but other than that, it's really great. Killer mix, man. Shadow of the Throne. Uh, what do you guys think? Epic or fail? Leave a comment. Let's hear from you. What do you think? I think that was pretty fucking epic, to be honest with you. Um, I thought that was really fucking great. Like I said, it's got a bit of that fucking Pro Tools snare going on. Um, not a fan of that, to be honest with you. But other than that, it was fucking great. The guitars were great. The vocals were great. Everything just worked. And he was really fucking angry. And that became apparent. Yeah, flawless victory. Okay, so I gotta go back here. Yeah, that was definitely epic. Like, well done, Shadow of the Throne. Well done. That was really cool. Now, I wanna go back here for a second. Where the hell was that? Oh, yeah. Dermont Fenster says, Would you like to be, would you be willing to let Brennan Small base a Metal Ocalypse character on you? Would you be willing to voice act it? Um, yes, and yes. I would be, like I said, I would be fucking thrilled to work with that crew. Oh, my God, would I ever. Uh, fifth Super on a live stream. Well, thank you. Um, how do we make that happen, Dermot? Uh, you know, 
are you on socials somewhere? Let's see here. Is that your real name? Like, here, let me see if you're on, uh, see if, if you're on the Zuckerberg hellscape here. Give me a minute here. Uh, Puma Ben. Nope. I'm not seeing you on, on the Zuckerberg Hellscape. I'm going to write your name down into my Google Docs, though, just so I don't, I fucking know uh, where you are. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Dermot, please get in touch with me. Let me know what that's all about because I would love. To that. Okay. Thank you very much, Murray. I really appreciate that. Like I said, we'll talk really, 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 really do appreciate that. That that's, uh, that's, that's very, very much appreciated. Dermot. Uh, thank you for that. Like I said, um, yeah. Hey, who wants to see that? What's that doing that? Don't do that. There we go. Yeah. I need to record death clock metals in my bag. Do you have some Oasis like tracks? Uh, yes. Avery's bra brag book. Yes. Yes. That's why we're here for the Oasis type track. Need a little time to, uh, uh, how about an interview with Rick Piano? Oh my God. That'd be hilarious. Uh, shout out to throne. Thanks for the, that is some big guys. Oh, you're very welcome. You guys earned it there. I thought it was a cool tune. Uh, the hey, brick snare well, will be coming up on the show. History. Whoa, deep fried burrito. Thank you. Uh, much appreciated. Yeah. Dermot, uh, please, please, please get hold of me. Go to my fucking, uh, YouTube page and hit the more button and, um, we'll, we'll, you know, I'll, I'll, let's get in touch. Let's make that happen. I would absolutely love, 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 love to fucking get, get going with that. That'd be absolutely fucking hysterical. I'd be thrilled to do that. I actually have done some voice acting for another animated series uh, that was on the web. I got to play Max Mixman. It was pretty great. And, he, and uh, yeah, it was kind of hilarious. All right. Streamlab link is not in the description. You're lying, Vincent Aberold. Of course it's in the fucking description. It's like literally the first thing. That's how I'm getting all these donations. Oh, hang on. <laughs> ah. There we go. Oh. Sorry, just uh, I just had the wrong syntax. That's all. Try that now, Vince. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got donations open for another six minutes. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I was gonna play Anthony Volpe, but sure enough, somebody outbid him. Uh, Anthony only paid thirty-five, and you got outbid by fifty. Sorry, Anthony. You're gonna have to wait at least one more song, and then you're next. I promise. Next up, we've got the Deep Burrito with Pacific Breeze. Ooh. I would love to get Jim Lowe on this show. If you anybody knows Jim, tell him I'm a huge fan and I would love to work with him. This is nice. Hey, hey, All right, Sirijos. Okay, thank you very much, dude. This is cool, man. Oh, I like the fucking key. Yeah, I could totally see, you know, like Vincent Vega and Jules cruising down Sunset in a Tarantino montage to this. Uh, Hyde, that would be great. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? I thought you could fucking play! You know, shit like that? Yeah, that would work. All those piano loves.
No, I, yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I probably could use some vocals. Jesus Christ, Murray, we fucking literally recorded Cleans with a two rock and it's a 77 black packs. It doesn't get better than that. From you let me know leave a comment let's see there i think that's an interesting song <laughs> all right there we go that was uh deep burrito with pacific breeze i think that was fucking great to be honest with you i'm uh, definitely a fan of that one so well done deep burrito i don't really have too much to gripe about on that one like that was just pleasant to listen to that's the great thing you know i was i was having a discussion there the other day with um hang on a second There we go. And bam, there we go. Okay, you're in the bangers list because I thought that was epic as fuck. Nicely done. So I was at, the, the thing is though, when you get a good mix like that, it's just, you, you stop thinking about, oh, hey, cool kick, cool snare. It's like, it just, the, a good mix gets out of the way and just lets you listen to the music. And I think that's what we had going on there. I really didn't hear anything jumping out. I could just, you know, sit there and listen to, listen to the music. A buddy of mine, Jordan Beale, who does like Vale of Maya and that kind of stuff, I sent him a mix I had done, you know, that epic choir vocal mix that I've, I've been talking about uh, that's going to be coming out on the show real soon. Um, I sent him that mix and he said, dude, after 30 seconds, I forgot I was listening to a mix. I was just listening to the song. He's like, that's the biggest compliment I can give you. And that's the compliment I can give you, Deep Burrito, is like the mix got out of the way and we could hear the song. And that's what's most important. I think you did a very well, I think you did a very well-rounded mix. I think you did a fantastic job. So bravo, man. Well done. Hey, Good job, hey, sir. Hey, and that, like I said, that's uh, in the beggars list and well fucking deserved. So thank you for that. Ah, uh, yeah, they probably got time for one or two more uh, donations and that's it. And then I'm going to have to fucking... Uh, that. No, we're not. No. no, okay, yeah, not yet. Uh, okay, so yes, Andy Volpe, he's been very patient. It's his turn finally. You guys, ready for this? Oh, hey, man, you did a really good job on that one. Like I said, you know, I, I, I wasn't really listening to the mix. I was just listening to the song because I, I really like the overall vibe you had there. So, well done, man. You can probably tweak it out, you can probably agonize over it, but. The, the 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 song came through, and that's the important part. Here we go. This is Anthony Bolton with Feel. Well, this is different. I detect a noticeable vacancy inside your head. This is very Depeche Mode.
looked like shit my wife listened to back in the 80s. But nobody likes you whatsoever. How does it feel? Hey, 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 hey Christopher Harv, okay. You're in the list. Thank you very much. From the day that you were born, you never did what you were told. Anyone who thought you were a good person wound up break rolled. Maybe I want to hear a bit more bottom on the kick. I want to hear that pounding you bass drum, you know, like it's a dance thing. Other than that, it's killer mix. Monday is our kick Yeah, maybe, maybe a little tape saturation might be cool on some of those Some of those uh, transient pieces Like the metal clanging bit. Hey, Alan Dean, thanks for hanging out, man Clean tone there. How does it feel? Oh, dying slow. Yes, kills J beats. I know it's in here somewhere. Let me check it. Yeah, you're up next, actually. I literally have you next. You were so clever, but nobody likes you with so Believe it or not. How does it feel? To not feel. All right, guys, that's Anthony Volpe. What'd you think? what do you guys think? Was that epic or was that a fail? You guys tell me. I think that was honestly a banger there. Uh, I'm going to drop that in the list because I thought that was fucking cool. For me, I think that was epic. You guys tell me, though. What do you think? You know, epic or fail? I want to hear from you because that's what's fucking important. This show's always been interactive. It's always about hearing from you guys and the audience and keeping you guys fucking involved and interacting with you guys and getting some really cool show ideas from you guys as well. Boom, because I thought that would fucking was great. Oh, okay. Whoops. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Boom, there we go. I thought it was, yeah, not my style at all, but I thought that was a, a really effective mix. I think it got the fucking, you know, the, the music across, but it was definitely, yeah, I was definitely channeling some old school fucking 80s, you know, fucking, you know, new wave kind of stuff. Like I said, this is kind of like the stuff my wife would have listened to when she was younger. Um, definitely not my kind of thing at all. You know, we used to beat those kids up. No, I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. We didn't, we didn't get violence. We, we wish we could beat them up, but we never did. <laughs> <laughs> seriously though yeah we just make fun of them in the hallways okay that that's more probably more realistic that's it <laughs> all right so dying slowly quicksand Ooh, nice snare nice top Where's this going, man? Nice bass tone. Want to hear the snare come up a bit? It's a little buried.
No, that's just the that's just the preview thing. That's all. Don't worry about the sixty second thing. I was wondering if the bass might be a little too loud, actually. Bass was a DI. Okay, well, it sounds good. Timing! Okay, yeah, so bring, bring the bass down a little bit, maybe bring the guitars up just a bit. We're talking maybe a DB or two, okay? Just not a whole lot. Good question. Oh, you know, an eternity or two. Holy fuck! Song's like seven minutes long. Okay, I'm not gonna play the thing the whole seven minutes. Actually, you know what? I, I will. I gotta go take a leak. I'll be right back. The song is too fucking long. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut there. So okay. Epic or fail, guys? You tell me. I want to hear from you. Well, I step up for a P and fucking, you know, I lose 30 people. Jesus Christ. All right. So it's too fucking long. Okay. It's, it's like you say, you've only been playing for a year and a half. That's cool. The, the playing's okay. Uh, you definitely need to tighten it up. That's for sure. I mean, like, we don't have to listen to all seven minutes of it to get the gist. This is the thing. I never guarantee I'm going to play the song all the way through. That's because this song would have been fine at three minutes, not seven minutes. Okay. Just because we can write long songs does not mean we should write long songs, especially when we don't have something that's going to keep people's attention for that long. I mean, like if you're talking like background music for a video game, cool. You know what I mean? But you know, if you just want something to listen to the song for the sake of listening to the song, shorten it up, man, because you got to compete with everything out there. Uh, I've said this numerous times and I'll say it again. Uh, Pink Floyd, you know, didn't start writing epics till like their fourth album and they had developed an audience. You know, they had, they, they grew the stuff with the shorter, catchier stuff first, then they grew out, you know, but if you start out with these massive epics, nobody's going to give a shit. That's just the simple truth of it. Uh, yeah. And yes, it would definitely work with vocals. Uh, but it's still too fucking long. Seriously, you want to impress people? See what you can do in two and a half minutes, not seven minutes. Seven minutes isn't impressive. Uh, just because we can doesn't mean we should. 
It wasn't a half bad mix. The bass could come down a little bit. The guitar can come up a little bit, but like I said, just a little bit. It's not bad. Um, that and, you know, um, your drum programming, make sure you're not all 127 all the time, especially on the kick drums. You know, try and figure out what a drummer is actually doing and try and mimic that with your programming. That might help out a little because it was a little robotic. Okay. Next up, we've got uh, Wandering Wizard with uh, Vacker Raven. Um, I do appreciate the donation, man. I seriously do. That was fucking awesome. Uh, once again, all the, all your donations just get right back into the show. Um, you know, this lets me, you know, pay editors and do cool stuff like that. And then, you know, what the hell would you ever sing about for seven minutes? Uh, ask Pink Floyd. You know, go put on Echoes Part 2. Killer fucking piece of music. But. Yeah, again, they had, you know, years of experience behind them. They could they could write something like that. Okay. Uh let's see what we got here. Yeah. So let's check out Watering Wizard. Yeah. Nice snare. That is not the brick. That's snappy. I like that a lot. Is it another instrumental? Vocals are a little buried. Is that a reserve the right to cut songs short if they're going nowhere fast? Like the guitars though, this works really well here. Cradle of milk. Make a great video game uh, boss track. Hey, uh, Sargon, thanks for uh, joining the horn. It's a really nice mix, man. Ooh, dynamics. Thanks, Sargon. Yeah, I do need coffee, but it's 10 o'clock. I can't do coffee. Hey, All right, check it out. Thank you. You're you're on the you're in the fucking list somewhere. Okay, you guys tell me what you think. Was that epic or was that a fail? You tell me. Um, I would have liked to hear some fucking lyrics. That would have been nice because, uh, you know, 
<sighs> I'm just so bored with instrumentals. I really am. And and that's not, not saying it was a bad mix. The mix, mix I thought was great. The guitar sound was nice. Everything fit together nicely. Everything was very, very well played. Everything was very well done. It's just some oh, some vocals would have been cool. That's all. Uh, so that was, oh yeah, what, what am I doing here? I don't fucking know. Anyway. Um, God damn it. What was I doing here? I don't fucking remember. Got fucking distracted. Anyway. Uh, cool. All right. Oh yeah. That's what I'm doing. Right. Yeah. No more submissions. Thank you guys. That, that was it. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Cause we're probably going to be here for another hour, hour and a half going through all these. Cause I got like 13 more songs to go through or something insane like that. So I do appreciate everybody who's come out tonight. Like I said, this is the biggest stream I've done and I don't know how fucking long. Uh, thank you everybody for sticking around and, uh, making this just an absolute epic fucking stream. If there ever was one, I don't think I've had this big of an audience in here and I don't know how fucking long. So thank you. I'm ever so grateful. And everybody who donated as well. Thank you so much. Once again, this all just gets put back into the show and, uh, you know, lets me pay my editors, which will make them happy. That's for sure. All right, so next up is Announce the Apocalypse uh, uh, with Forever the Pariah. Let's see what we got here. Oh, they're from Detroit. Cool. <laughs> are a little loud. Stairs a little buried. Rim shots on the snare hall, but this is definitely a real drummer playing, which is nice. I like the thumpy snare, it's cool. It doesn't have the doesn't do the Pro Tools brick thing with it. Yeah, back off on the compression on the hats, or on the stair guys, they'll turn the hats down, you can bring the mic up a little bit. Quite yoga. Okay, Reckon Dead. Hey, great job with the drummer. I think he did all right. Hats are a tiny bit loud, like I said, but that's that's pretty much my only gripe. I want to hear the snare come up when he's hitting it harder. What part of Detroit are you guys from? Where, where's the studio located? I'm really curious. Greetings from across the river, by the way. Hey, 
Eight Mile. There we go. Yeah, snare is fat. It's nice to hear a real fucking drummer on, on music like this for a change. Oh, fuck, I was just into it. Okay. okay, that was cool though. Yeah, Forever the Pariah by Announce the Apocalypse, not not Design the Skyline. Announce the Apocalypse, or Bring Me the Horizon. Announce me the ap- Apocalypse. <laughs> bring me the Apocalypse. Design Design the Pariah. What was that? I, I I'm confused now. Anyway, uh, okay. Cool though, cool, cool. All right, next up we got Bayou Preview Mix with Banjo.mp3. So whoever the fuck did this song, thank you. Uh, you're next. <laughs> Add my angry stream, then you got a perfect mix. Oh, I don't know about that. Like I said, just might want to be careful on the compression on the snare. That's it. Maybe back off just a little bit so that hi hat's not jumping out so much. Other than that, fucking killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, vote, please. Yeah, what do you guys think? Epic or fail? Almost forgot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's hear from you guys. What do you think? Epic or fail? What does the audience have to say? Okay. All right. So, yeah, while we're doing that, let's check a Bayou Preview Mix. <laughs> Oh, this is like seven and a half minutes long. I am definitely not playing all seven minutes of this. Unless this turns out to be like unbelievably awesome. Why do you guys insist on doing songs seven goddamn minutes long? At least, there's a, at least it's not an instrumental. I love seven minute instrumentals. Drums are definitely pulling to the left. Why is that? I'm just thinking, you know, I'm curious about the EQ going on the vocal. It sounds almost telephonic. Mary Nasal. I, I definitely want to work with vocals to get a thicker sound out of it. Yeah, the slide guitar is great. It's, why is it louder than the vocal, though? Might want to roll off the bottom end on that slide guitar as well. Like everything's like below 250 hertz. So just there's a lot of crap at the bottom of that sound that's not really adding to the mix. Yeah, she's really nasal, man. Don't boost anything. I would think. You try some subtractive EQ. Take care, Daniel Marks. Thanks for hanging out. Sounds like on the drums you're just using like a room mic or something. It's like there's no spot mics on the snare or anything. Yeah, the the uh, the banjo is a little buried. That could come up a little bit. And that slide guitar has to go down.
see, yeah, and then we go going off this long instrumental. Okay. And that's where the song should fade out and end, right there. It does not need to go on for another three minutes, 55 seconds. Holy fuck. Wow. Yeah. You can end the song right there and you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't fucking miss anything. So we're going to cut it right there. So make that a tip to the band. You know, you, you don't need to have a song like that at seven goddamn minutes long. That's just plain fucking stupid. But then again, musicians aren't exactly known for their intelligence. So, you know, I get it. All right. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, guys, let's hear it. Uh, epic or fail. I want to hear from you guys. What do you, what do you think? What do you say? What do you say? What do you, what do you say about that song? Um, I want to hear, um, I want to hear from you guys. Epic or fail. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Okay. How we can improve that. Like I said, um, it sounds like the drums are kind of panned off to the left. I want to hear a close mic. Let's hear, let's hear the snare mic a little bit. And, um, yeah, you got to bring that slide guitar down once again, let's, let's roll off everything about below 200 Hertz on that and just bring it down. Maybe a little bit of echo onto it might be kind of cool, but she's sounding, like I said, you might want to take another fucking crack at recording the vocal. Cause she sounds like she's almost singing through a telephone microphone. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do there. You might want to, you know, see if you can borrow a couple different microphones and see what works well with her, but don't EQ the living shit out of her vocal. That's what I've, I, I'm suspecting you've done. You're trying to make it brighter, but you've just wound up making it sound nasal. That's what I'm suspecting. Anyway, I could be completely wrong. I could be talking out of my ass for all I know, but that's kind of what I'm hearing. Anyway, I could be wrong, but I do fucking wish you the best of luck. Like I said, it doesn't sound like a half bad song or half bad band, but they need to learn a little fucking restraint when it comes to songwriting. Once again, just because we can, we've got, you know, all this ample time to be able to record doesn't mean we should, especially with a song like that. That's just, like I said, it's just a waste of time. Let's move on. Yeah. You definitely could dance to it, but not for seven goddamn minutes. People would be dying of heart attacks. Here we go. Curse of fire, heartbreaking, magical, orchestral music video by oh, wandering wizard. Yeah, fuck it. Let's throw the video on. <laughs> yeah, what noble verb said. Wow. This sounds fantastic.
Okay, wow. Uh, yeah, we got there? Yeah, we got there. All right, cool. Wow, so that was a water wizard with Curse of Fire. That was fucking... I think that was pretty fucking epic. I think it was epic in every sense of the word. Wow, what do you guys think? Um, that was that was fucking nuts. That kept me kind of fucking mesmerized. What a great composition. I thought that was killer. Was was that real? Was that AI? Uh, you know, I, uh, inquiring minds want to know. I'm going to put this in the bangers list, though, because... I thought that was really cool. Well done, Wandering Wizard. Uh, yeah, so was that like AI-generated paintings or something like that? Um, it was pretty fucking cool regardless. I thought it was neat. It composed everything, every instrument. Yeah, okay. Hey, metal song on here yet? Come back on a slash. Okay, cool. Well, hey, thanks there, Brian Payne. Appreciate that. Composed every instrument. Well, well done, Wandering Wizard. That was uh, That was fantastic. That was really something. Very different from what we get. Uh, again, I think the mix got out of the way. We could just hear the song. That worked. It worked so well with the visuals as well. Great job. Uh, that should be in a movie somewhere, I think. Anyway, that would actually be a cool cool theme for a movie, The Curse of Fire. Interesting. All right, all right, all right. Moving on. Let's do uh, Remember the Loach Modern Fuzz. Let's see what we got here. Six minutes. Fuck sakes. Let's see what we got here. Bass tone's nice. I like the snare. I did like the snare until the guitars kicked in. It's a little, little brick setting. Is this a seven minute instrumental? Six and a half minute instrumental. Okay, that's fine if you can't sing. Have you tried writing it as a shorter instrumental? Why does it take you six and a half minutes to get to the point? <laughs> How many ideas should we use? Yes. Well, you can definitely play guitar. There's no question about that.
Jesus Christ, Size Rex, you fucker, I said no more donations. Seriously, guys, no more donations. I, I gotta get finished sometime tonight. Sounds nice, but I'm just eh. What do you guys think? Epic or fail? You tell me. <laughs> no, I want you to stop submitting songs for me to review. I need to work. Yeah, we got. I got 11 more songs to fucking do and if they're all like six and a half minutes we're gonna be here until two in the morning all right all right I can't take it anymore you guys tell me epic or fail it's like I played six goddamn minutes of it okay let me guess <laughs> uh, epic or fail you tell me what'd you think I thought it was a nice enough mix you know like I said it was kind of I had the brick snare thing going on unfortunately a few spots I thought you know during the da -da 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 -da, that was kind of cool but you know it just eh, it, it kind of had a bit too much of that pro tool snare going on I'm not a big fan of it uh background setting yeah it was kind of hard to keep up with it i mean like it's cool there's a million ideas but you're probably gonna split that into three songs and been absolutely fine i thought the guitar sound was cool i thought the bass tone was cool i thought it all worked together well you definitely checked off all the right boxes but it just seemed to go on and on and on and on and on and on and on until finally i can't take it anymore so you know it's like epic or fail you know i mean like ep yeah six minutes come on i mean how many of you guys would honestly listen to that more than once given the choice yeah, it was an extremely good performance and it was extremely well played. You can definitely play guitar. There's no question about that. And I'm not faulting the guy for that at all. But it's just like, yeah, I need uh, more rambling uh, prog instrumentals. And that's the thing. That's it. What this show is fucking plagued with is, is rambling prog instrumentals. A lot of it's really fucking boring, guys. I mean, yeah. Uh, you know, so there is that. And I, I'd say, you know, maybe give your songwriting a rethink. You don't have to throw in all the ideas all at the same time. It's great that you can play, but can you write something somebody wants to listen to more than once? That's the real trick. Ask yourself that. You're well on your way, though. You've got great, you know, great musicianship. The mix was really good. You've got something. But can you captivate the audience? That's the question you need to ask yourself. I wish you the best of luck, good sir. I really do. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you can make it happen. All right. Uh, next up is Imperial with Bury Me. At uh, 4.43, at least. Hey, Sargon, thanks. that fucking Pro Tool snare going on. Oh, God damn you, Timothy Herford. 
I don't know. Send me 50 bucks and we'll see. Okay, that's the quote of the day. This music is for people who, ha who hate their mom, even though she brought you Rice Krispie Squares. That's yeah, very nice guitar sound, that's for sure. Somebody said, yeah, this definitely sounds like 5152. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. I said though, I, I'm not a fan of the stare. It's got that cultural brick sound. Just like thunk, thunk, thunk. There's no snap to it. This guitar sounds unpainted right now. sure what's up with up with the chair right now. I got one of these nice flexi spot chairs, but I don't know, maybe it's not helping. I just I just realized there there's actually something I can fucking So that was uh, Bury Me by Imperil. What do you guys think? Epic or fail? You tell me. I want to hear from you. You know, let me know here. Leave it. I, did the, I thought it was a really nice mix. I thought the guitars were really, really nice. Was not a fan of the snare. Like I said, it's just got that Pro Tool thunk, thunk, thunk thing going on. I am hearing in way too many digital, digital recordings and my own, I might add as well. Um, I think it might be a little too fucking, a little too processed, I think. Um Epic marriage proposal. Okay, epic, epic. Oh, no, just boring. Heard it a thousand times. Before. There is that. Okay, there's definitely nothing new there. That's for sure. Um, I thought it was well performed. Like I said, I thought the guitar sound was great. So, so there's a little good, a little not so good in there. So I don't know. Like I said, it's it's not a case of anything's bad. It's just more a case of you know, hey, maybe we can make make it a little bit better. That's my thoughts anyway. All right. Oh, all right. So anyway, thanks. Uh, very, thanks very much, Impera, for sending that in. Yeah, like I said, I got, I got this fucking. Oh, I actually got the fucking back straight now. Maybe this is gonna help. <laughs> but yeah, it's like I've been having a little bit of back pain. Maybe this this chair. Maybe I got to get uh, get my old chair back in here. I don't know. All right. Yeah, sounded great, but no hook. There we go. Okay. Next up is our Turbo Night cover guitar playthrough. Christopher Harv. That's what Christopher Harms got for us. We got a video. That's what we got.
little thin on the guitar sound. Yeah, the guitars are really thin. What'd you use here? Yeah, overall, the guitar sounds really, really thin. What's going on? Oh, well, thanks, Sargon. I appreciate it. Well, I'm happy to help. Good morning, runner. Timothy Herford, you're a bastard. Another five minute guitar epic. Jesus Christ. Ah. <laughs> ah, that was my favorite part of that song. The part where it ended. Uh, you guys tell me, epic or fail. Um, I'm my my feelings are mixed on that one. I thought the guitars were really thin, which is weird because you had a boogie head and it looked like you had a sewer load box. So that tells me you had a bad choice of impulse response or you EQ'd it too hard. Um yeah, it's like uh 
play Kalinas. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really care about a guy shredding for five minutes. You know what? That I'm not. You're not the only one, dude. I got. I th- I tend to agree with that. It's just like fuck sakes, guys. How about a song? Oh God, all these guitar instrumentals. They're fucking okay. You're giving me a great idea. Ah, uh, give me a second here. Okay, actually, I'm writing on a fucking piece. Uh, uh, fate of Okay, good. Give me one sec here. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, all right, all right. And let me see here. Um, Techno, actually, I'm going to play it. Oh, yeah, hang on. Yeah, we had Timothy Herford. He, he, he promised to fucking... Uh, you pronounce my name right. I appreciate it. Okay. Tim Timmy Tim, Tim the Hereford. Yeah, let's see what we got here. He wrote a song called Vultures. It's only two and a half minutes long. Let's see what we got. Okay, Timothy Hereford. Uh, okay, yeah. So I just wrote some notes there. You guys are giving me a good idea for a video I'm going to be doing about, the, I'm calling it the sad state of metal in 2024. Uh, because it's like, yeah, you know what? The fucking, it's like, yeah. Okay, anyway, let's take a listen to Timothy Hereford. It was an interesting... Uh, what was it? Glenn Everrush is a real rock singer. Cool. Hit me up next week because I'm not taking any more submissions tonight, guys. Seriously. I need to get through this. I've still got like 10 fucking songs to, to play. So no, no more. I do appreciate it. Let's listen to Vultures, though. Guitar's a little fried sounding. Ouch. That's that brick snare. It's a little brighter, but still it's got that it's got that awful thud to it. Yeah, it's because there's a song there, 2-0. I'm going to write that down. The stairs a little too loud, Rocco. Sure, Timothy. Yeah, no problem, man. Yeah, I like the vocals a lot, actually. Hats are definitely too loud for the mix. They need to come down to DB or two. I would have just preferred the Aussie vocal. Guitars are very fried sounding. I'm not sure what you got going on. Here. You might want to try a different IR or something. Thanks, Mark Alexander. I appreciate that, dude.
Yeah, I would I would have uh, dumped the fucking grunting vocals personally and just had the guy sing because he actually yeah the singing part was actually something worth listening to. I thought that was cool actually. The guy had a good voice, so it was cool. You should just work with that. Um, but yeah, you want to rethink the guitar sound. Definitely rethink that drum sound and how you're mixing it as well because it's just it's a little. Ouch. Uh, epic or fail, guys? You tell me. You tell me what you think. You know, uh, let's hear from the audience. Let's hear what they've got to say. Holy fuck, there's still 250 of you guys watching. This is amazing. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out tonight. This has been uh, quite, the, quite the stream, that's for sure. Um, I haven't fucking uh, had something this insane in quite a while. We're three hours in, and we still got one, two, three, Excellent. four, five, Yay. six, seven, eight, nine goddamn songs to go here. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay. Breaking my world. Two minutes, 56 seconds. Thank you. Uh, Thermite Burns. Let's, uh, let's take a listen to that. Let's so let's just start with what we have. What did this do to you? Tell me. And remember, this is for posterity. So be honest. How do you feel? I got a feeling this is going to be a long minute, two minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, two guitars, guys. Okay, so um, let's start with two guitars there. And maybe a little bit of songwriting, you know, maybe a chorus, maybe a verse, that kind of thing. That might help out. Let's start with the basics. Let's do that. Then submit a song. That might be a good idea. Okay. Cause that one definitely needs a lot of work. Uh, I'll ask the audience, but I can already know where this one's going to go. Uh, epic, uh, epic or fail guys. You tell me what does, what does the audience have to say? Yeah. Cause I'm not going to sit there and listen to that for three minutes. Sorry. Um, Hey, you got one epic. There we go. A couple of epics. Great. Fail, 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 fail. Gong. <laughs> epic, I say. Okay. Oh, you got a few epics there. Okay, great. You got a few supporters there. But like I said, two two guitars. You want to pan the drums down center, by the way, as well. Not have them, you know, sitting over on one side. Please see my series, How to Record Heavy Guitar and How to Record Heavy Drums. They're uh, like nine and ten part of fucking series, and they're really going to help you get your head around what you need to know and the basics on how to get a great guitar sound and make it all fit together. So good luck to you, man. I'd highly recommend checking those out. Those are absolutely free to watch, by the way. So, uh, you know, just check them out. Thanks for, thanks for, uh, thanks for sending something in, though. Uh, the trick is, though, don't get, get discouraged. Keep going but learn the basics first good luck dude okay next up we've got alex Masano with typical reaction full master at a merciful three minutes 30 seconds thank you alex I like it already. Ooh, this sounds like rock and or roll unfortunately put it up on soundcloud which destroys your symbol soundcloud bites Nice lead tone. Don't mind the pills. Don't mind the shields. It's a typical reaction to the way that we now live. Ooh, vocals need a little work. I like the mix. I like the I like the arrangement. You need to get the Aussie guy from the last the band there two two songs ago to sing on this. Yeah, vocal lessons would give vocal if you learn how to sing, man, you'd have a banger of a song. Kill 
strong guitar sounds. Let us know what you think. And just remember, yeah, guys, uh, just for future notice, don't upload your songs to fucking SoundCloud because it just destroys the top end of your mix. It's fairly an epic song. Like I thought the guitars were extremely well played. I, th- I like the arrangement. I like the vibe. I thought the groove was good. I thought it all worked. The vocals were definitely the weak point. So please take some fucking vocal lessons and do us all a favor. All right. Uh, next up, we've got Bottle of Blood with Abysmal. It calls to you, what you gonna do? It's better black than ever blue. What a beautiful day. Your grunting vocals are a little buried compared to your other vocals. They need to be the same level. Turns a tiny bit on the thin side. mind the harmony here it's actually not half bad the guitars are really really thin though so i'm thinking you know think about maybe using a different amp sim or something like that like you know some of the bulgren stuff and again this is probably better situated if you play the drums and bass first then dial in the guitar sound with the drums and bass going it'll give you a much better idea what will work Yeah, 
Yeah. So try that and see how that works. You know, um, but yeah, the guitars were really thin. So yeah, I'd say check out some of the, uh, some of the Borgren stuff, you know, some of the neural stuff. There's a lot of great amp sims out there to choose from. Just don't use what you use there. Cause that was thin as fuck. But that lets me think you probably did the scoop the thing with the guitar by itself and then played the drums and bass afterwards. You know, like I said, get the drums and bass going first, get those rocking, then start playing your guitar and dial in with the drums and bass playing. Don't sell your guitars. That way you get an idea how everything works together as a cohesive unit, not just with the guitars out by themselves and hope they, they fit together with everything else. All right, next up, we've got a regular here on the show, Mr. Technoax. This is uh, Schechter Wan. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how Technoax does today. Hey, Beavis, good to see you, bud. Definitely tuned down to about like a million. Okay, thanks, Tim. I'll uh, talk to you there then, probably tomorrow. I do like the drums on this. What'd you use, Techno? Interesting track, dude. Like it. Uh, it was definitely a little different from what you know I do. I think that's probably your best metal mix you've done so far, honestly. Uh, personally, I, would, I don't think I would have got one of the guitars down that low. Once you get down beyond a certain point, they get a little, little bit lost and they're hard to fucking work with or make chords with even. So that's something you got to keep in mind as well. I remember Rob Scallon, you know, uh, maybe six, seven years ago, he did a video where he did, saw how far he could tune the guitars down. And honestly, anything past like a drop C just started to get a little mushy. You know what I mean? So it's, it's interesting. That's for sure. But yeah, interesting, interesting song though. No mix show November seems like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I did one in January. So 
Uh, maybe you should pay attention to Hadley. Anyway, <laughs> it's taken a while. Hey, I had to fucking install a fucking console, okay? These things are complex. You know, it takes a lot of work to get one of these up and running and that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'll keep you posted. Anyway, okay, so next up is Elise left us with a smile. Let's see what we got here. Hold on a second here. I don't know how long this is going to be. Or if it's even going to fucking play. Here we go. Uh, are you kidding? Did not have a wave file on the end. Uh, yeah, you didn't. You didn't put a wave on the end of it. Great. Hopefully, it's a wave file. If you sent me a fucking virus, I'm going to be very upset. Yes. Let's see. What the fuck? And give me a sec here. There we go. Loud goddamn kick. Four and a half minutes. Okay, at least it's under five. Thank you for that. nice tom sound guys and i like the guitar sound too it's just it's a little predictable
Okay, now this ending bit is actually pretty good, guys. Overall, the mix is really good. Man, I like the ending. This is actually kind of neat here at the end. Should have tried putting that in the middle. Pretty cool. All right, all right. So again, uh, like I said, I, I don't know. I think that I think that uh, chair is starting to hurt me a little bit. I don't know what the deal is there. Might have to switch swi switch out office chairs. I switched over to you know the flexi spot stuff, and it was pretty good. But I noticed the last few days my back's been kind of hurting, and maybe it's just the way it's got me sitting at the at the at the mixing console. I've got another chair downstairs. I'm gonna have to bring up here and try it out tomorrow and see what we get. Okay, next up we've got Axlinger with uh, "Do What Thou Wilt," and pardon me, I need to hit the washroom, so I'm gonna do that too. So I'm gonna do what I will, and that's go take a leak. It's a little quiet. I like where it's going musically, yeah. I can't say I'm a fan of the vocals either. What is sampled? I, I don't get it. I have no idea what that is, John McIntyre. Yeah, these vocals are ruining this song. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not going to listen to that for another minute. I'm sorry. I, I just can't do it. Um, it's like the guitars are cool. I like where you're going. I like the arrangement and everything. But the... Just nonstop? Come on, man. Really? You want people to be entertained by that? You're expecting people to want to listen to that more than once? Let me hear from you guys. Is that epic or is that fail? In my book, I think that was a fail. I don't. I couldn't fucking do it anymore. I hate to be mean, but Jesus fucking Christ, guys, have some mercy on your audience. Remember, you want people to fucking listen to it more than once. I don't think you're helping your case there. 
Yo, like a little bit would be cool, but the whole fucking song like that? No. No, 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 no. I thought I thought it was an interesting arrangement though, but oh, there we go. Yeah, just fucking yeah. Cool. All right. Anyway, yep. So, my suggestion: try again. Too much something plugging on those vocals. I would agree, Bradley Higgins. Yeah, like whatever you're doing to process, turn it the fuck off. It's not. It's not fun. It's not entertaining, and it's just not cool. All right. Next up, we got Silent December, Deception, Reception, Solaris. There was a little synth V song. Great. <laughs> No, don't quit trying, Diego. That's horrible. Try again. Keep trying. Get better. That's what you Kicks a little out on this one. Vocals are buried. Turn the instrumentation down, turn the vocal up or something. I like the bass tone. It's a little muddy though. It works. It's not bad. Fuck are you on about Hadley? Oh, thanks, modern metal songwriter. Is this an AI vocal? I'm curious. Well, interestingly enough, they were, um, you know, they had like this auto tune thing go up on the video and it's like, okay, so that makes me wonder if it was an AI vocalist or not. I'm kind of curious. It sounded a little muddy. It sounded like it could have had a bit more clarity. I don't, that's kind of an EQ thing more than anything. I thought the vocals were buried. You know, it definitely had the mixed by guitar player syndrome. So, you know, bring the instrumentation down just a little bit, bring the vocals up. Definitely had that Pro Tools snare thing going on that I'm not a fan of. Uh, like I said, I've just been mixing on this thing for you know, the last month or something like that. And now I'm really starting to hear that Pro Tools snare everywhere. At least that's what I'm calling it, the brick snare. And it, it's just, ugh, it's too, like I said, it's just something's wrong with it. And uh, it might be an over compression thing and an EQ thing or a combination thereof. And I think we're just processing the snare drums just a little too much and not letting them breathe like we should be. All right, last up. Leave, uh, oh yeah, right. What'd you guys think? Epic or fail? Maybe that's the issue. Maybe why my back's hurting. Okay, you know what? I've been staring at this all fucking night down here. 
and it's cool, but you know, I think I'm, I, my back's been out of position where I should be looking this way. So I'm gonna move the chat window up here. So I, I don't have to fucking look down here. This thing, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe that screen's been fucking with me the whole time. It's cool having two screens, but I don't think I need to be here all the time. Anyway, let's see here. Uh, Okay, John McIntyre is a nostalgic MySpace favorite, but Arab Proggy scene can either like it. Focus on the too dry and unglued for the. I don't know what that's all about. Okay, anyway. Because your console's too low. You think so? How high should my, my console be? Hadley, what's the optimum height? Let me know. Okay, I, I don't. You, there's not enough information to make any kind of uh, thing on it. Trash mix. What the fuck is that? Does it clap? Speak fucking English, motherfucker. Jesus. Anyway. All right. Waste time. Really? Okay. Well, that's not coming up that high. That's definitely not. Yeah. Waste time. Jesus Christ, man. I'd have to get it up on blocks for that to happen. Jeez. All right. <laughs> Yeah, these are definitely not designed to be sitting at waist level, Hadley. I've been to the Neve factory. Like, they, they, don't, they don't, don't sit these fucking, they don't sit that high. Period. Anyway, okay. Dad, uh, pedal pushing daisies. Let's check it out. Uh, here we go. Removing permanent tattoos like they're By Brendan Ricco. I'll just keep spitting on my grave. Probably do gotta get a lower chair. The fuck are you talking about, no Norman Titter? It's better than the grungy shit we've been hearing. I'd rather listen to this than a seven minute guitar epic. A little bit of work assault. I like it. Hey, thanks, Ben Arnold. Cause I'm pushing pucks. Cause they tore my way out. It wasn't my fault. The world was weighing me down. And I'm lost. Not found now. The fear of myself now. Lack your mental health now. Wish it never found Welcome, dude. Sorry, I just saw that. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Okay, for all the did, does it jiggle get questions, they've all been put in timeouts uh, varying from 30 minutes to 24 hours, so don't fuck with me is what I'm saying right now. Uh, anyway, 
I like the last song. Um, um that's honestly, I thought that was uh, more way more epic than it was fail. That's for sure. Uh, you might not like the. Uh, I thought that was great. I thought it was catchy. I thought the vocals were to the point. They were passionate, and there were actual fucking hooks in the song. All you. F- Fucking guitar wankers. I hope you were paying attention because that's something that would actually be worth listening to more than fucking once. (sighs) Hadley, they don't make these consoles to go up super high. It doesn't fucking work like that. Okay. The console's not too low. It's the fucking chair. The fucking, because I had this. The console might actually be a little too high. I still haven't quite got it figured out. I think it has more to do with me staring at this fucking screen down here than staring this way. Not crusty enough for me. Hmm. But I, I thought that was a catchy fucking song. Um, the snare was a little dull, but uh, yeah, not too bad. I got a... Fu- What's a hook? Yeah, <laughs> Exactly. A hook is a part that fucking you know locks in your brain and you can't fucking fart. She had a good fucking voice, though. Yeah, a little Alvaro Levine sounding, obviously, but uh, it worked. I thought it was pretty cool. Actually, thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. Anyway. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Why are people such cunts? Sorry. Pardon my French. Anyway, yeah. Okay, anybody else want to fuck, fucking fuck with me right now? I really appreciate it. Anyway, uh, anyway, uh, want to thank everybody who uh, who did come around and who isn't being a complete dickhead. Really appreciate that. Uh, want to thank everybody for donating. Once again, my editors are going to appreciate that. Uh, Glenn, please sell producer. Uh, I'm willing to. Buy. Okay, fuck off. Really? Okay, just don't be. Can you guys? It's been a long night. Okay, I've been at this fucking three and a half hours. I'm fucking tired. I don't have time for bullshit right now. Okay. Trying to help some people here. (laughs) Can you please tell me good tubes for a 1970 twin reverb? Okay. Uh, yeah. Whatever you can find, you know, JJ's will be absolutely fine. Are we going to do this again next Monday? Yeah, probably. I would think so. I uh, cannot find a working Discord link. What are you talking about, Volkov? Really? Excellent. Let's see if this works or not. Yep. Discord link in the in the video description works fine. All you gotta do is find it and click on it. It's real simple. Click the video description. Click the link in there. It's provided. It's real easy, guys. Uh, yeah, I should be up next Monday, Brad. Uh, yeah, like I said, just sorry, just juggling a few things here at once. Fucking trying to fucking get Discord links to people so they can join because they can't fucking open a simple fucking link, and fucking dealing with shitheads. There you go. There's the Discord link. Anyway, yeah, I do appreciate you guys coming out. Thanks to everybody who did subscribe or uh, who did donate. I appreciate that. Like I said, it, it gets my editors paid. It just makes life a lot easier. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, hey Diego, Diego, it's been nice, nice knowing you. Goodbye. <sighs> and yeah, I don't know why people got to be such dickheads. I really don't. Whatever, bye. I, j- I just don't have time for your bullshit. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Anybody else want to get banned? Uh, yeah, I really hate fucking dickheads. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great, Brian Payne. Yeah, um, you can go to my, uh, just go to my page and then hit the uh, more button on on my YouTube channel and then I'll bring up my uh, business inquiries. Yeah, I'd love to talk to Jim Mill. He can hit me on Instagram as well. 
or yeah, Instagram is a great, great spot to get in touch with me or here, but yeah, email would be best through the, uh, through the, through the main page. I'd really appreciate that. Yeah. If you know Jim Lil, yeah, like I said, I would fucking be thrilled to do something with him. I'd love to collab with the guy. I've been trying to get in touch with him for a while because, um, I think, uh, you know, even though he's a country guy, I'm a metal guy. Uh, we're both, you know, skeptics. <laughs> I could say. So it should be interesting. Yeah. And yeah, if we can do a death clock collab, that'd be even more insane. All right. Anyway, thanks to everybody who, uh, who, uh, who hung out tonight. I really do appreciate it. This has been an awful lot of fun. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back next week. So we'll do epic or fail one more time. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I got to get up in the morning. I got to shoot, uh, shoot a piece about a, uh, <laughs> a God stam compressor and see just how good it is. Anyway, Bare minimum plugins, I think. See, now that's a good question. Heard of Turtles? Yes, we should do it. I think we should be turning off more and more plugins, actually. Beavis, great to see you. And everybody, th seriously, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. This this has been the most epic fucking live stream I've done in I don't know how fucking long. And I really appreciate you guys for coming out. It's been magnificent. Thanks so much. You guys have a great night. Take care. And I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs>